Today is day four of me trying to make $3,000 in just one week with DoorDash. Before we get into day four, I just wanted to remind you guys that the whole reason I'm doing this challenge is to push my mental limits past their breaking point so that I can hopefully raise $5,000 for the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Now we've only raised $247 and we are halfway through this challenge. I would truly appreciate it if everyone watching this video could just donate like 50 cents or a dollar. I think everyone can spare that and it would mean a whole lot if you would put it to this good cause for people with mental illness because it's a bigger problem than we realize I think. And because of that I'm donating one dollar for every five subscribers I get. And since the last time I checked in with you I've gained another 205 subscribers so that is absolutely amazing. I really appreciate you guys subscribing and trying to help the cause and for all the support I've been getting. So 205 new subscribers is another 41 dollars that I'll be donating. So I'll throw up the screen recording of me donating that for you guys right here. And if you're watching this and have no idea what's going on then I'll link the playlist up at the top for you. You can go watch days one through three because I break down everything that's going on in this challenge and I didn't want to just keep reiterating it for those of you who have been watching every single day. So as you guys know if I don't hit $428.57 every single day this week then there are punishments tied to that that you guys get a vote on and when I say punishments I mostly just mean consequences. They're not necessarily punishments because a lot of the things are good like extra donations or giving to the homeless or whatever which is what you guys chose yesterday. Give pizza to the homeless. So unfortunately when I went out to do that today it was pouring rain and thunderstorming. And so I went to all the usual places that I see people standing on the corner and there wasn't anyone. So I'm still going to do that but I'm just going to do it tomorrow when it's supposed to be nicer weather. But along with that there's also two new punishment options today and those two options are give a random subscriber $30 or I'm sticking with this extra donation because we need it. Option number two is I'll donate an extra $30 to the National Alliance on Mental Illness. So those are your two options if I don't hit my goal today. Let's get going with day four. I feel terrible. <laughs> I'm so tired guys. This is rough. I mean, I knew this would be like the hardest challenge I've ever done mentally and physically, but oh man, it is rough. And today's Thursday and we're already starting off with some garbage happening. We've made $20 in our first hour and 15 minutes. And that's because one of the orders I got to Chick-fil-A was for some reason, someone else just stole it. And then DoorDash just decided when I contacted them that they would just cancel it instead of resend it to the restaurant. I don't think the customer ever got their order. But yeah, we, we've already had that happen and we're just one hour in. So who knows what today's gonna have in store. I honestly think I'm going to go less time today so that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, hopefully I can put in three 19 hour shifts because those are the busiest days. Those are the only way I'm even going to come remotely close to the $3,000 goal. And yeah, let's see what happens. All right, so we got our third order of the day. This one to Costa Vida, $6.75, I think. I literally can't remember what it is. That's how tired I am right now. But it's for 3.3 miles, but it's a $6.75 plus order. So we have no idea how high this order could go. I've seen it go as high as like $22. That's what I'm hoping for right now. Come on, DoorDash, give me something to boost my spirits because right now they are just down in the dumps. Well, it ended up being $8.75, so I'll take it. Not too bad, but we got our next orders. It's a stack one to Wendy's, surprisingly good one from Wendy's. And honestly, if we keep getting decent orders, I think my spirits could be lifted a little bit. We're about to head into the lunch shift. Hopefully some good things happen, because let me tell you, I need it. So we just dropped off this order, which actually ended up being $10. 
and we've made $93.75 in four hours, which means we're averaging roughly $23.5 per hour. Pretty good. I really want to eventually have a day where I average like $25 an hour or something, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So far, a lot better than yesterday, and we just got this order to Panda Express, $6, 4.6 miles, and so I think I'm going to pick up some food while I'm there as well because it's about 1.30 now, and I'm pretty hungry. So I'm going to pick up food, pick up this order, drop it off, take a quick minute to eat, and then we'll be back at it. Hopefully, we continue making decent money. Can I get a plate with white rice and then a sweet fire and orange? So I just finished up my little lunch break. It went a little bit longer, but I honestly needed it very badly. It took about 20 minutes. Now I'm getting some gas right now, filling up right here. And I actually got my next stack order. It's a pretty great one to J&C Sushi House and also Papa John's. So I'm feeling pretty great now. A lot better than I was a couple hours ago. And we got some good orders under our belt. Let's keep going. <laughs> Next order, we got this one to Mr. Fry's Man. I've never been here, never heard of this place. So that's something you don't see every day. Let's go pick it up and keep going. It's now 8.30. We had a decent dinner shift, but we honestly had a lot of problems. I don't know what it is about this week, but I've never had more restaurants not have the order or tell me it's gonna be a 15 to 20 minute wait or tell me they just started the order or anything like that. It's happened more this week than any other week ever. And maybe that's just because I'm dashing more hours than I ever have before. But it just seems like, man, it's like almost 50% of orders just have some problem with them. But we're doing decent and we've gotten some good orders as of late. Our last two were really good. And then we got this one that we're doing right now to five guys. And so I think I'm going for about four more hours today. Hopefully we finish out the night strong. I think there is peak pay again tonight. So maybe that'll bring up our average. But yeah, on our way to five guys. So next up, we got ourselves a cash order. These are always just fun for me to take. I don't know what it is about them. I think it's because the possibility is endless with the amount of tip I can get. But it's the Papa John's and the total that they're gonna pay me is $39 and like 33 cents or something like that. So I'm hoping they just give me like a $50 bill and I'll pocket the $11 tip. That would be amazing. So she ended up paying me $47, which is an $8 tip, meaning this order was $11.75. Well worth it. I love cash orders because there's just the suspense. It's like a gamble and it makes things a whole lot more fun. And most of the time they tip you pretty well. Anyways, let's keep going. We got a couple more hours, got to make as much money as possible. Let's go. So in total for the day, I made exactly $250 in 14 hours, which is an hourly average of $17.86. 
and I drove 262 miles, which is $44 in gas. So that means our four day total so far is we've made $1,133.48 in 60 and a half hours, averaging $18.74 per hour. We've driven 1,118 and a half miles, which is $190 in gas. So there you guys have it. Again, just a reminder, I'm donating $1 for every five subscribers I get during this challenge. And if you have the means, please donate. It's a great cause. It takes five seconds. Just click the little donate button below this video and the money goes directly to the National Alliance on Mental Illness. It's not like I'm the middleman or anything. You guys aren't sending it to me. It goes directly to them. I have nothing to do with it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for the support you're giving me. We got three days left and a lot of ground to make up on both the making $3,000 part and the raising of the $5,000. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for all your support and I'll see you guys tomorrow.